Yeah, man, this is Super James. You know I am the real Superman. Today is March 24th, 2015. It's Sunday, 9 in the morning. Remember last night, last night, Saturday, May 23rd, 2015, last night, Saturday, we were at the Slayer concert in Socorro, Texas. Remember? You remember in the fucking Slayer concert, fucker? In the fucking Slayer concert, look. I still, I still haven't had time to take off my Socorro General Mission badge for the Slayer concert, man. Yeah, we just had after party in my house. We're drinking all night and we're drinking all morning. Now it's nine in the morning. And you remember a few hours ago, we we're playing the Sepatura Roots CD. We just finished the Roots CD. It's the city's gone. It's finished. We sang all the songs. Now we got another CD coming for you. Yes, it's my favorite CD, my favorite band. I remember when I was a young boy, back in 1980. Four. Remember 1984? You remember 1984, brothers? You remember 84? When Super James, the real Superman, remember I was 14 years old? Remember Super James was 14 years old? 14 year old. Little, weddle boy. I was a weddito. Cartos años, recuerdo? That's when I saw my first concert. I went to my first concert when I was 14 years old. This Superman, this Superboy, he went to El Paso Coliseum. See, our maiden. Remember, it was the same day, same day. Who was playing in the Pan American? Las Cruces, New Mexico. Concert the same day as Iron Maiden. A pass costume. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow, who is it? Who's the band playing in 1984 in the Pan American University? And I'm assuming Las Cruces, same day as Iron Maiden. Come on, you gotta, you remember, you remember. It was Prince, man, remember Prince? Prince played in 84. I love Prince, I love Prince. Oh, I, I do love Prince. I do. But you can't have fucking same concert day. Prince, brother, my brother Prince. You are my brother Prince, because I love you, Prince. As Iron Maiden, what were you thinking? Of course, you wanted Superman to go to your concert. But come on, what are you thinking? What were you thinking? How do you expect Super James, the real Superman, to go to your concert? When Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden's playing in the Pasa Coliseum the same night. Who is my family? You say? I didn't know. 14 years old? I was, a, I was a fucking kid, 14 years old. I know who the fuck was I? Who am I? I talked to my father at church Sundays. God, Jesus, my father. Daddy, Jesus. Me, daddy, Jesus Christ. Who am I? I don't know who I was, 14. I couldn't, I was looking, I couldn't, I didn't know. Nobody's like me. I'm so alone, so alone. I have nobody, nobody's like me. Who am I? Where are my family? Then I went to an Iron Maiden concert, not Prince. I bought my tickets to Iron Maiden and then Iron Maiden sold out that night, sold out. Iron Maiden sold out, not Prince. 
my best friend from Catholic Church. Immaculate Harder Mary Cathedral, Catholic Church. My friend, Mr. Kramer. Mr. Kramer said, I got a $50 ticket to Prince. You want to trade? Give me your Iron Maiden ticket and I'll give you Prince. Are you fucking stupid or what? I'm getting my fucking Iron Maiden ticket to go to Prince. I love Prince. Prince is cool, but not the same night as Iron Maiden. Come on. Iron Maiden. I went to Iron Maiden concert. First time I went, I was there. I was fucking a little scared. I mean, never has Superman been scared. That was the first time I was really scared. I'm fucking freaking out, man, scared. Like, what the fuck am I doing here? All these crazy people. Everybody's drinking, smoking weed, all fucked up, all crazy. In the fucking parking lot before the concert started. I went to the concert, gave my ticket. I went in. You know who was the band to open up for our meeting that day? Remember 1984? Who was it? It was Wasp. 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 With Blackie Lawless. Blackie Lawless singing for Wasp. I was there, concert of Wasp. Blackie Lawless was singing his songs. And they're singing songs about Paso and Texas. And I'm drinking, I'm getting fucked up in the Texas and the Paso, drinking and fucked up and partying and traveling everywhere in Texas. Concerts, you know, black people all this, getting all fucked up in the middle. And I was fucking, I love that song. I was like, fuck yeah, that's cool. I'm like, yeah, everybody's going like this. I, I just found out 10 seconds ago, that means I love you. I love you, Blackie Lawless, you little fucker. <laughs> oh, I love that shit. And then he had that skull. Remember Blackie Lawless came out with that skull? He had blood in it. He drank the blood. He got the blood. From the skull, drank the blood from the skull. Finished the blood. He had that skull. After he finished drinking the blood, he threw it at the crowd for a souvenir. He threw the fucking skull. <sighs> Hit my friend right next to me, right here. This fucker sitting next to me. Hit him the fucking head. He was right next to right here next to me. Bam! Fucking skull. He fucking fell on his ass and shit. He was down. He was fucking down. I think. Like, Dude, are you, what's up, bro? You cool, man? Are you cool, friend? Hey, friend, what the fuck? You need a beer? Are you cool? What the fuck? I put some, I fucking threw beer in his face. He didn't wake up for nothing, man. He was unconscious. He was out. That fucker was gone, bro. He was like, well, fuck, oh, he's not dead or what the fuck? I'm freaking out, man. 14 years old, my friend's dead, man. Now look, that fucker's still alive. He's breathing. Yeah. Yeah, he's breathing. He's alive. Oh, he's just fucked up, but he's alive. And then the fucking hospital the paramedics, the fucking ambulance paramedics came in. Like, what the fuck? You gotta take my friend. Fuck you, fuckers. Take him to Providence Hospital, man. Because I know they'll save him, man. I trust fucking Providence. Take my friend to Providence Hospital, fuckers. Save him. I know he's not gonna build, he's gonna miss a fucking concert, but at least he'll live. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> well, at least he saw half the con Whoa! My, my friend saw half the concert of was half of it. So he was, it was cool when he saw half the concert. You know? Yeah, but he lived. Yeah, he lived. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and I, I love was. I, I'll never forget that concert. This fucker lived. But then the Iron Maiden came out. And I gotta say, cheers. I wanna drink the super tequila, the super tequila of Super James, Superman's tequila. It's the super tequila of Superman, Ornitos. This shot is special. This shot is special tonight to my idol. My idol, my superhero, 
Yeah, even Superman has superheroes. Superman, superheroes. Superman also has idols. Yeah, I got idols and superheroes, Superman. My idol goes to Iron Maiden, the band Iron Maiden. All of the band Iron Maiden are my heroes. But my super, super idol, my idol, goes to Iron Maiden, the lead singer Iron Maiden. The lead singer Iron Maiden. Who is the lead singer Iron Maiden? This dedicated to you, idol. You're my idol. Dedicated to my superhero, my super idol. This tequila shots for you, Bruce Dickinson. Bruce Dickinson, the singer Iron Maiden. For you, Bruce Dickinson. I love you, brother. You're my, you're Superman's idol. You're my superhero. You save Superman when you use a young little puppy, a little pup. You could call me a little puppy when I was 14 years old, young little boy. Before I was Superman. You saved me, bro. You made me the man I am today. Bruce Dixon made me the Superman, the Super James. He gave me the power, the will, the spirit. Because I didn't know who was my family until I saw her maiden. I said, oh my God. This is my family. The, these people, these brothers, sisters, are my family. Iron Maiden is my family. The fans are Iron Maiden are my family. Iron Maiden and the fans and the people, the rockers, the rockers of Iron Maiden. I'm a rocker. Wow, I didn't know I was a rocker. I'm a rocker, these are my family. I love you Iron Maiden. Cause you let me realize that you are my family. It's so are the rockers of the world. We're a born race. We were born to be rockers. We are born as babies to be rockers. We're like, like I tell people, it's like we're a race. Rockers are a race. But it's a race of everything. You know, everybody's a rocker. You know, there's rockers of fucking angels, Americans, Chinese, Japanese, Russians. All races, Spain, Mexicans, Mexico, everybody. The whole fucking planet Earth. We're all fucking rockers from different fucking countries in different planets and different fucking universes. We're all brothers of this whole fucking universe. Cause we're rockers, we're family. And we're the fucking strongest race in the world. All rockers are like born warriors. Rockers are born to be God's angels of war. We're the warriors of God, and we were born to be God's fucking warriors, the strongest race, strong. We're fucking warriors of war, God's warriors, and we're here to fucking fight for war, to fucking fight for God's, to defend our family against Satan. So shares for you, Bruce Dickinson, my idol. Ah, shit's fucking hot. Yeah. Damn. I would also smoke my last, my last cigarette for you, Iron Maiden. Last cigarette of the night. So tomorrow I'll buy another pack. But I only smoke cigarettes when I take a shot of tequila. I don't smoke. I only smoke when I take tequila shots. It's not saying it's gonna be my last shot this morning. Because I might take some shots and I don't have no more cigarettes to to Oh wow, that's life. But we're gonna sing some Iron Maiden. This Iron Maiden album was when Bruce Dickinson, my idol Bruce Dickinson went single. He started his own band. He left Iron Maiden for, he had to take a break from Iron Maiden. 
Yeah, he had to take a little vacation break from the fucking Maiden and do his own thing. It was his destiny to do his own album, do what he had to do for God. You know what I mean? But then he came back Iron Maiden because he just had to do some shit on his own solo tour. But then after he finished what he had to do with God's destiny, God has sent him, my father, God sent him back to Maiden. So we're going to sing the album, the, the Bruce Dick's not singing, it was this young kid, he was the fucking greatest fan of Iron Maiden, and our Maiden band came to him and said, hey, you know what, dude, we want you, for you to play with us, we want you to be our singer. Oh my God, I'm the greatest fucking fan of Iron Maiden. You want me to sing for you? It was his dream come true to play for Iron Maiden one album. So this dedicated also for you, the new singer that played in the new Iron Maiden band. Iron Maiden, virtual. Virtual Iron Maiden for the new singer. The song is also for you, brother, because you're a great singer too. Yeah, brother. I love you too, brother. Someday we'll drink some tequila shots together and drink and party with our maiden. The whole band, Bruce, and you, me. And yeah, let's play. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry fans are remaining. Fucking CD is going crazy. Okay, the songs from Iron Maiden. Retro, number three. Lightning strikes twice. I'm also gonna drink some special, special wine. Thank you for the 
present. This is special wine from our name, a gift to me for my birthday. Just chill, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 